Hi, Janelle Schaefer here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Welcome to my channel. It's a spring day. It's a nippy though, spring day. Some of these other spring days I've been um, in t-shirts and shorts outside. So I'm at a park today and I wanted to do a video with what I could find in the grass in the park. And um, I'm going to talk about onion grass and we will get into that in just a second. Let you know checking the kids I want to let you know that um, I have a free ebook that I give out if you subscribe here click on the first link down below head over to my newsletter and sign up for it and put in the subject free ebook or free tea book and I will email that to you it's all you need to know about making herbal tea and it's a great book uh, for beginners to get started with making fresh or dried herb teas so I'm going to talk about onion grass or, or garlic grass and um, I didn't make a video about this before because it seems kind of like trite or like doesn't everybody know onion grass but maybe you don't and if not um, this is a great video for you. Onion grass and I'll show you in just a second it grows higher than your other grass and it's darker green and it has an unmistakable garlic or onion smell and I will show you it and show you the bulbs. They're like little garlic bulbs and you can eat it and you can season food with it, make marinades and, and use it like you would use chives. And my children love it. So as soon as it starts coming up in the, gra in the grass, they go outside and pick it and eat it. And I know they, when they come in, their, their mouths are green and they smell like garlic. So <laughs> let me show you what I mean. Okay, so it's kind of hard to tell here, but um, let's see, the regular grass is at least six inches shorter than the onion grass. The onion grass is sprouting up here higher than the regular grass. Let me see if I can get a different angle. But it's unmistakable. And then to know for sure so that you're safe, I'm gonna just pull this tough out. Oop, I'm gonna try to get this out. Well, I didn't get the bulb. Um, I'll get a bulb in a second. But you pull it out and and you smell it. If it smells like onion or garlic, that's what it is. I want to show you. So I've been busy trying to get up this onion grass and I think because it just came up, there's no little bulbs or, or they're too deep in the grass. They're, they're not coming up. But usually when you pull them up, um, you get a little white bulb, like a little clove of garlic would be. So these are just like the stems. They're whiter at the end and at the end would be the little bulb. And they are very much like garlic, but this is very fragrant. This whole pile of grass here smells exactly like onion or garlic. And um, I guess because I have chives, I'm gonna turn this around. I guess because I grow chives and chives come up around the same time as onion grass, um, I always just use chives and I don't use onion grass. But I think it's an awesome plant to know about, especially if you're in the woods or you're camping or foraging and uh, you don't have chives because chives is more of a cultivated um, onion green. And if you are cooking and you're like, I need some fla flavor or something, then I think this is when you would want to know about the onion grass. Um, or if you're a kid, like my kids, they love to eat it and it's, um, it's great and nutritious but I just want to emphasize make sure it smells like onion make sure it smells like grass uh, not grass onion or garlic you're not eating grass you're eating onion grass so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come again thanks <laughs> 